Hi, have you ever tried green tea noodle ramen? When you hear ramen, what do you think of the topping? My ramen cannot miss char siu and egg. Let's go make it. You want to make sure the pork skin of your char siu is very clean, and you need to roll it and tie it with cooking string. Cook in a heated pan without oil. Roll around until golden brown. Transfer them to a pot. Add some water. Season with soy sauce, sake, and sugar. Adjust to taste. If I order ramen at restaurant and I want the char siu is very tender, melt in my mouth. If they don't give me any char siu, I'll be disappointed. Toss in some green onion, ginger, leek, garlic, so it adds more flavor to the char siu. Bring it to a boil and simmering for one and a half hour. Every fifteen minutes, you need to roll around, switch the side, or else the pork skin will stick to the bottom of the pot. One and a half hour later, turn off the heat and let it cool down. Set aside the char siu while you removing all the fat and ingredient from the sauce. Transfer the char siu to a freezer bag or a container with a little bit of sauce, and let marinate in the refrigerator overnight to intensify the flavors. Let's keep some sauce for the eggs. Cook eggs for six and a half minutes in boiling water. You can time it from the first egg. After they are cooked, place them in ice water immediately. If you done it right, your ramen egg is creamy, silky, full of umami, and ready to enrich and intensify your ramen enjoyment. Remove shells, transfer them in a freezer bag, add the char siu sauce, and marinate it in the refrigerator overnight. I'm making tonkatsu ramen today. Minced pork bone broth. I like to choose the bone with meat in it, so I choose pork neck bone and soak in water for two hours. If you don't have time to soak in water, so you just add salt and vinegar towards it, and you will notice it when you boil. There is not much scum on the surface. Besides pork neck bones, I also use chicken feet and pig trotters as well. You need to scrape the skin with a knife so that they won't have bad smell. Add all the bones to a pot, bring to a boil, cook for five minutes, drain and wash well. Clean bone is the key for a good tonkatsu ramen broth. Transfer them back to a pot, add cold water, bring to a boil. Remove any scum that you can see on the surface, so that your broth will be clean and taste good. This is how my broth look like after three hours. I toss in some roasted onion, garlic, ginger, and shiitake mushroom. I was simmering the bone for the first three hours, and now I want to bring it to a rolling boil, so all the gelatin, emulsified fat, and goodness come out of the bone and make it creamy, milky into white color. For ramen broth, you don't want to miss out the umami flavor. It's the dashi. Dashi is a simple stock that uses ingredients to make the umami flavors. Often using dry seaweed and bonito fish flakes, I add them in the last thirty minutes. I believe these two ingredients you're not supposed to boil for hours. The reason I choose pork neck bones because it has some meat in it, so that it will add more sweet flavor to the broth. And this is how my broth look like after. After eight hours, everything fell off the bones. Turn off the heat, remove bones, and filter the soup with a strainer. And we are done for tonkatsu ramen broth. It's so tasty. You can season with salt or soy sauce or miso to taste. I try to season this bowl with the char siu sauce. It's so yummy. Next time you should try it. It's so delicious. I'm so satisfied with this bowl of tonkatsu ramen.